what is going on guys, it is your man Twisted Drifter, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. Now, a lot of you may have noticed that I got a big shout out in the Slap Trains video recently for helping him go and get the wheel set up on GTA 5. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys pretty much how to install that mod both on GTA 5 single player and for GTA 5 5M. So hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video. We'll also, after that, continue it with some gameplay. Right now you are seeing me in a 2018 Mustang, or 2019 Bullet Mustang right now. I'll do a mod review on this separately here in the next few uh, days, maybe a week. I don't know. It all depends on how busy my schedule gets. But I will definitely be doing a video on this Mustang as well. But without further ado, let's get in to showing you guys how to install the GTA 5 wheel mod. Alright guys, so first thing you will want to do to install the mod is you want to go into your browser of choice. Me, I prefer Firefox, it's just easier to use. Uh, oh, maximize this real quick, and you'll want to type in GTA 5 manual, if I can spell, manual transmission mod. What you'll do here is you'll hit the first link, manual transmission steering wheel support. Once you've hit that, you'll hit download. Pretty simple to do right here, so once you've downloaded that, it'll... I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to hit cancel. But for those who are on Firefox, you hit, of course, you'd hit OK. Uh, after that, you will need to go back. And right here, luckily, it already has a link to script hook dot, or script hook 5. So you'll hit this here. You'll hit the download link here, not download SDK or on the GTA forums. Just hit download here. It'll go and pull up a window, and automatically you'll have this to download. Once you've done that, the next thing you'll need is script hook v dot net. Once you've got this one here, you'll hit the community script GTA 5, uh, the community script hook v dot net, GTA 5 mods dot com. You'll want to hit that link there, and then you'll hit download. What this will do, guys, is it will make it so much e This will make it uh, the game work with the wheel. Uh, without these mods, you're not going to be able to use GTA 5 uh, wheel mod in single player, which is what I, what I do it mostly on. Uh, but it does work on 5M as well, which is what I will explain when we start installing it. So, basically, you will need those two script hooks. That's the big thing to allowing any ASI mod, uh, any script, to uh, work in your game. So, without those, you're not going to be able to do it. Now, I will say this, you're not going to be able to go into GTA Online with this mod. So keep that in mind. You're not, be, you're not able to access GTA Online. It will automatically shut down uh, the game. Or, cre or uh, if it doesn't, you'll miss game banned. I will warn you of that. Do not attempt to go online with this mod. 5M is okay. GTA Online itself is not. So without further ado, guys, let's go and open up our downloads folder here. So one second. Library, downloads. Excuse me, downloads folder. Going to close out Firefox. And one second, just need to. Alright, so we're good. Had to check because this is my third time recording it. The past couple times it's shown up as the Firefox window blocking everything else, even after I've closed it. So I don't know what was going on with that. Anyhow, without further ado, after we go and get that part downloaded, you'll go and open up a new. Uh, you'll go and open up a new window here. Uh, one second, just. Uh, control in here. Said control in. Thank you. All right. So move. Okay, it's not doing it. Uh, one second, guys. There we go. Finally. So what you'll do is in one, you want to go over here and go to your local Steam, uh, wherever your Steam library is installed. So you go for me, it's local disk D. Go in here, navigate to where GTA 5 is installed. An easier way would be to open up your Steam library here, go to your library, right click on GTA 5, and properties, local files, browse local files. That's an easier way to do so. Um, I just do it the harder way, but either way works. And then what you'll do is you'll go and open up the GTA 5 Gears mod, you'll drag your manual transmission, and your Gears AI. ASI directly into your main GTA 5 folder. 
Uh, for me, I've already got them in, so they should automatically drag for you guys. For me, I'm just going to uh, close that out because we don't need to move it over. But you'll drag that into your main folder. Next off, you'll want to go and do the same with your .NET. Uh, just, drag, just grab the DLL and the ASI. Drag those directly into your main folder. Don't drag them into the subfolders. It's not going to work. Just drag it dra directly into your main folder. After that, you'll want to do the same with the script hook 5, except this one you'll go into your bin. You'll take the script hook 5 and d8input.dll. Drag those in. Now, the native trainer, you could use that. It's a bit more of a pain in the rear end, in my opinion. I use simple native trainer, which you can download on GTA 5 mods, which is makes your job a lot easier. So, now I've, now I've shown you how to do it into the main GTA 5 folder. I'll show you guys how to install it into your 5M folder. So, let's go into your 5M. Uh, you'll go to where your 5M shortcut is. You'll right-click that. Go to Open File Location. Uh, application Data. And you'll want to create a folder named Plugins. Now, this is where you'll install your trainers, uh, your scripts, and all of that. So, right here, you'll go to Plugins. And keep in mind, any script you install will only work on a server that says client-sided scripts. If it does not say client-sided scripts, you're not going to be able to use the, any of your uh, manual transmission, trainers, whatever. You'll have to use what's already on the server. So that's a big downfall to 5M. Some servers allow it, some servers do not. Uh, that's why I prefer it in single player. But anyhow, what you'll do is you'll go into your manual transmission and your Gears AI and you'll drag that into here. So as you guys can see, I've already got it in. But that's pretty much all you have to do for your 5M install. It's pretty simple. Once you've done that, it will automatically work on any server that has the 5M. Uh, once the, or the uh, client-side scripts enabled. And without further ado, guys, I will show you guys how to set it up in the game. And what you guys need to do to make it work out. Alright guys, so basically that's how you install it. Now to set it up in game, it's a little bit more complicated, but actually pretty simple. You do it pretty much simple, the same way you would do any other game. So we'll go and pull over here, um, right in front of the uh, theater here, and do it right here to show you guys. So let's pull over right here, and shift it into neutral. But basically what you'll do guys, is you'll go and hit this keyboard he or this key right here on your keyboard right next to the P button you'll hit this one here that'll pull up the menu uh, you can do it with the up and down arrows you don't need to use the number pad for this um, it gives you enable manual transmission uh, disable it gearbox you can choose automatic sequential H pattern I use H pattern you got the options of engine damage all of this I'm not using engine damage right now but you also got fine tuning where you can set the uh, mischief damage and all of that if you want. And go into miscellaneous where you've got simple bike, hill gravity, auto gear one, auto look back, hide player in first person view, which pretty much like that. Not sure why you would do so, but you can if you want. Uh, and you can do cloud uh, clutch plus throttle to start. I'm going to keep Franklin in the car, it just looks a little more realistic. Um, you also got keyboard and controller if you want to go and do it. If you don't have a wheel, you can also just use your keyboard and controller to drive with a manual transmission. So that's the cool thing. It's not just for wheels. It's for controller and keyboard users as well. You want to be able to shift, you can do so. Uh, for steering wheel, you have enable wheel, always enable. Patch the steering, which I would definitely suggest using, guys. Um, steering reduction, don't use this, really. Um... You can if you want. Steering wheel, steering multiplier, this will uh, increase the steering lock. I um, have it at 133 at the moment. Um, disable non wheel steering, which will keep it from, say, you accidentally bump your joystick on your controller or a key on your keyboard. This will keep those from overriding your wheel and steering you in a direction that you don't want to go. So, definitely suggest using that, guys. Uh, if you got a, a larger tech wheel and you've got LEDs, this will work as well. If it, however, do not enable it. If your wheel does not have RPM LEDs, it will probably crash the mod or the game. Uh, analog input, uh, configure your steering, throttle, brake, clutch, handbrake. It'll tell you on the bottom, it'll go and give you a walkthrough of how to install all of that. 
Uh, no dead zones. Um, Anti-dead zone, as you guys can see, basically uh, just keeps it from having a dead zone at all. You got your break gamma here, so basically, uh, as you guys can see, just like a cell Corsa or, excuse me, Forza or whatever you want to go and play on, Horizon even, you custom set everything. Um, well, more like a cell Corsa where it has all the custom fine tweaking and everything. You got your buttons here, so you can do toggle mod, sh change your shift mode, throttle, brake, clutch. For th those are for like if you have a controller. Um, engine and handbrake, uh, piece of cake right there. You got your horn, lights, look back, look right, all of that. So it, it is very detailed. You even have your force feedback options, so you can do all of this. Uh, these are my settings right now, so if you want to go and copy these, if you have a Thrustmaster TX, go ahead. Uh, you got your soft lock options as well. Um, I don't have soft lock turned on. Probably could if I wanted, but I don't. You've got H pattern shifter, so of course shift it into reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then right to skip the gear. And basically that's all it is right there. You got your eight, your keyboard version as well. You got your HUD options. Now this here is what I, what I like. You can actually customize the font of the HUD if you want. I just use slab serif. You got your gear shift mode, which means you can do it like this as well. Just change it up all the HUD if you want. I turned the wheel and pedal info off. However, you can turn that on, and it'll show you what your what buttons are going or what uh, axes and everything is being used. I turn it off because it takes away the immersion. Um, you got your RPM gauge, which you can turn on as well. That little bar above the map. Pay pretty much pretty simple info. Uh, so there you guys go. If you want to go and mess around with all of that, get real technical with it. And it also has a debug to show all the technical details and op and options. Uh, shows the NPC vehicles near you. Uh, lines detail and force feedback. So say I wanted this, you could see all of that. You could see the display gear and info. All of that if you wanted to. But basically, we're just gonna go and show off this wheel in action, guys, and let you guys see some of uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing on this. So showcase this off a little bit. As you guys can see, it does have full force feedback. It will go crazy if you uh, start doing all that. Um, we are using a few graphics mods. We're using Redux, uh, GTA 5 um, Redux. We got Natural Vision Remastered. We have uh, make visuals great again and visual 5 all installed in this mod at once and that's why you're getting such beautiful realistic graphics at the moment well much better than what uh, the original game was wouldn't say much more realistic but definitely much more beautiful oh god trying to get oh you all right people but yeah that's that's where the trainer comes in guys you can go up here easily fix your vehicle you can set your wanted level I uh, do have a couple other things that I've got installed, which I'll save for future videos, guys. But basically, this here is GTA 5 on the wheel. And I'll show you guys how it reacts once we get up to some high speed on the highway here. Uh, let me go and actually find a decent, um, find the exit to the highway. Uh, I think we are, I think I've missed it. Yeah, we've gone under the highway. Uh, we're going to go and make a U-turn real quick. So that way I can show you guys how it handles up at speed. Now, uh, my high my uh, high speed driving, I will admit, is not the greatest, guys. So we're probably going to hit a couple things. But just keep that in mind. We'll go and head up towards Sandy Shores here. As you guys can see, I am actually using the shifter over here. And we are using the clutch as well. Without the clutch... Uh, for example, guys, if I forget to use the clutch here, we're going to slow down a bit. If I forget to use the clutch to go to fourth, it will shift right into neutral, so you actually have to hold the clutch until you're in gear, laying off the throttle at the same time, and then getting back into it in order for it to work. So keep that in mind while you're using this. It's definitely a lot more realistic. It's a lot more fun. Uh, you're not going to be able to drive with the wheel. You will still have to uh, use your controller to walk around and do this, that, and the other with. But if you're just driving around, this is perfect. I mean, it's really all you need to do. Uh, it's all you need for some fun in GTA. We're going to go and hop into the two-lane highway here. Oh, God, that's a wall there. 
uh, again, a, a more in-depth, uh, detailed mod review of this car specifically will be done in the future, guys. But right now, this is just to show off the mod in action a little bit. But yeah, see, you get, you go and get loose, that car, the uh, wheel will um, start to have issues. Now, I will warn you guys of this. I'm going to drive backwards for a second to, to show you guys an example of what I'm about to be talking about here. Uh, we gotta go and, when you go and, the crazy thing is, is when you, say you, uh, with the mods I've got installed right now, say you're going about, uh, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour, and you lose control, okay? Uh, let's go and find somebody, head into the opposite lane here, um, if we can. Uh, we're really struggling to do so at the moment. But if you can, say you go into the opposite lane, you go and, uh, get flown from the car, okay? For example, once I hit this uh, vehicle here, we get thrown from the car. Your wheel will lock itself in one direction or the other. Most normally to the left, because watch this, I go and I try to steer my car, I try to get in the wheel to straighten out, or whatever. It just wants to lock to the left. It'll do that because the last input it got from the car was the force feedback of it turning left. So we'll hop back over to the Mustang over here. Very nicely done for the damage model here. But we'll hop back in here, and as you guys will see, once we're back in, the wheel will straighten out. Now, another great thing with this mod I'm going to show you guys real quick before we end this video is how it handles when you lose a front, a when you get a flat tire. So let's fix the vehicle real quick and go to the vehicle tire menu for this next example. So now we've got this model. You, you see how I can burst all these tires. So say we want to burst the, the uh, tire one. I think that's the front left. Yeah, that's the front left. And as you guys will see, the wheel, it, it loses a little bit of feedback and the cars will now shift to the right. Uh, say you want, let's go and fix that. And say that you have just hit a spike strip, okay? I'm just going to leave my my uh, foot off the throttle, say you're going 90 mile on a, or off the wheel at the moment, once we get it on a straight away here, straight enough road. So say there was a spike strip up ahead, and it burst all your tires. Basically, the wheel's going to do that as you move, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to steer the way the car's weight would steer it. So say that's what will happen with that, but basically that's... That's how you install the wheel, and that's pretty much how it works, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below. Uh, follow my Twitch channel as well, because that's where I do stream a lot of every of my uh, stuff nowadays. Uh, that's where I do all my Let's Plays and everything. So if you guys miss my Let's Plays and all of that, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Uh, link is down in the description box down below. Always remember, mental health does matter. Do not be afraid to seek help if you guys need it. I cannot stress this enough, guys. Do not be afraid to seek help if you need it. If you feel depressed or you feel like you're losing control, se seek the help that you need. Till next time, it's your man Twisted Drifter. See you guys in that next video or the next live stream, whichever comes first. Till then, I'm out.